Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can build a website using Card.co. Card has two different plans, they have a free plan and they have a paid plan and everything shown in this video will be available on both the free and the paid plan. If you do want to sign up to Card, even if you do want to go with the free plan, then all I ask is that you sign up using the top link in the description. Using this link is how I keep the lights on on this channel and it allows me to create more awesome content like this. So to access card, you can either go to card.co right here, it's spelled with two R's, or you can click the top link down in the description and it's going to take you over to this page right here. So this is the card landing page and it's going to ask us if we want to choose a starting point in order to build the website or if we want to log into a pre-existing account. As this is our first time using card, we want to go for choose a starting point and right here, we can see all of the templates that we can get access to on card. Now, if we go back to the top, we can see we have all of these different categories right here. So we have profile, we have landing, we have form, portfolio, and sectioned. And the interesting thing about this sectioned category right here is this basically creates a website that looks like multiple pages, but it is actually only one page still. So if I just show you how this looks by going into a demo, what I can do is click on this page right here for work. And as you can see, it looks like a completely different page because it hides the rest of the website. But in reality, this is all a one page website. If we go back out and we go to any of these other categories right here, like portfolio, for example, the rest of these sections are just going to be a standard one page website where they don't hide anything and it doesn't look like a multiple page website. So keep that in mind, if you just want the standard one page website where your website is one consistent scroll, then you want to go with any of these categories at the top apart from sectioned. And if you want a website that looks like multiple pages, then you want to go for the sectioned category. You can also see right here that some of these template designs are going to be pro. They are going to say pro in the top right corner, which of course means that we need to upgrade to the pro version of card. However, for this video to make this applicable for everybody, we are only going to be using the free version of card. So I'm going to go along to the top and I'm going to be creating a portfolio website in this example. So let's go down and choose from one of these templates that we want to use. So I'm looking through and I actually really like the look of this one. So this is the one that I am going to go for. You can click demo and go in and take a, a bigger look and a bigger view of how this website is going to look. And if you do like this design, then all we have to do is click on select and that template is now selected. This is the card editor and it's actually very, very easy to use. We can basically see that the way the card editor works is we have this big section called the page and inside of the page is everything that is going to be shown on my card website. And then within the page, within these green lines right here, we have all of these elements that make up the page. So right here, we have like an image element. We then have a text element, a text element that is a paragraph. Then we have a container with all of these elements inside. And the way that you change the elements is simply by clicking in and making your changes on this main control panel on the left hand side. So we can see this is the site title right here. And if I want to make any changes, I just go in and I can simply type my changes right there. If I want to add an image, which I will do in a second, we click on this and then we can upload the image on this main control panel on the right hand side. However, this template might not come perfect and it might be kind of how you want the website to look, but not exactly. So what we can now do is we can add new elements onto the web page by simply going up and clicking on this plus icon to add an element. So these are the elements that we can add. With the regular, the free plan of card, we get access to all of these. However, we don't get access to the slideshow, the form, the embed or the widget. As a beginner, these are not really things that you would need anyway, but they are there if you do want to upgrade your account in the future. So let's say that I want to add in some text. All I have to do is click on the text and this is going to be added right to the bottom of my website. So then all I need to do to move this where I want it to be is click on the text that has just been added and I can now drag up and drop this anywhere that I want on the website within reason. So you can see, I can't just drag this anywhere. Like I can't drag it right here because it's not going to let me. And we can only drag these elements where this green line is going to show up. So I can drag it on top of this text. I can drop it right here. I can drop it here. 
And as you can see, that text has now been added. If you want to delete any elements on your website, then all you have to do is click on the element so that it is now highlighted and then click on this trash can icon in the bottom left corner. Now that text is gone. If there are any elements that you would like to duplicate, for example, if I go ahead and add an image right here, I'm going to upload this beautiful image of myself, and then we can basically drag this out and select this right here, accept. As you can see, that image is now added in. If I want to go ahead and duplicate this element, all I have to do is click on the element that I would like to duplicate, and then down in this bottom left corner, we have this button that allows us to make a copy of that element. As you can see, that is now duplicated. And once again, I can drag this around to anywhere that I want to on the website. So now that you understand the very basics of how the card builder actually works, let's go through together and I will actually start building out this website to show you in more detail how this works and some of the other features that you can get. So for example, with this image right here, I already have the image, but we can really add some customization to this. So I can open up this panel on the left hand side. Right here, I can add some alt text, so I can add some text to the image. I can also add a link. So if I want to add a link so that when people click on my image, they are taken to a different website, then all we have to do is paste the link URL in right here. And then when people click, they will be taken to the website that I entered here. You can customize the look of any element on your website by opening the element on the left hand side and then using this toolbar at the top to go along to appearance. In here, this is where we can change the look of that element. So we can do things like adjusting the width and height of the element right here. Sometimes it is going to mess up the dimensions, especially with images, like you can see that looks terrible. However, if I do something on my website that I don't like, or if I make a mistake, we can either go up to this reverse button in the top right corner to undo the last action, or alternatively, you can use Ctrl Z if you are on Windows or Command Z if you are on Mac, and that is going to work as an undo button as well. We can add things like borders to images. So if I wanted to add a border right here, we can go ahead and add this. We can adjust the width. We can adjust the style of this between any of these three. We can also add shadows. We can add padding, which is basically going to add space either side of the element that we have selected. So if I push the margin up, you can see it's going to create a bigger space right there. And if I want to reduce the margin, you can see it's going to make a smaller space. We can also choose the alignment. So right now, everything on my website is aligned to the left. But if I wanted to align everything centrally, I can just go into alignment, set this to the center. And as you can see, that's now aligned in the middle. I'm just going to go back a few steps and return this to the default where we were at. Perfect. And now we can go down to the text. So I'm already pretty happy with this text. But if you look in this text panel on the left hand side, we have a bunch of commands that we can use to format the text differently. So for example, if I want to bold my text, we have to add two asterisks either side of the text that we want to bold. So if I want to bold this entire title, then I would go to the start, put two asterisks, go to the end and put another two asterisks. And as you can see, my title is now bolded. If I only want to bold the word Riley, then let's delete all of these and do the same thing to just the word right. So two asterisks on this side, two asterisks on this side, and then as you can see, my title is now bold. We can also do italics. So with italics, we just want one asterisk on either side, and as you can see, that's now going to be italicized. And then one other very cool thing that I want to show you in this area is we can actually highlight certain areas of the text. So if I want to make the name Riley a different color, I just look at highlight right here, and I put two equal signs on each side. And as you can see, that text color is going to change. Then to change the color of this, we can go over to appearance, go to highlight. We can change the color that we are going to look at. For example, if I want this red right here, and then we can use the regular color button to change the color of the rest of the text. If I want this blue, then I can set that right there. In the appearance section of text, this is also where we can change the font. So we can choose between any of these fonts right here and that's going to be the font. Then we can adjust the font size. We can adjust the font weight or the heaviness of the font. We can adjust the line spacing, the letter spacing. We can also add an indent to the text, change the appearance. So if we wanted this all lowercase, we can set it like that. If we want this all uppercase, or if we want small caps, which is very interesting, then we can have that as well. I'm just going to return this to normal 
Then once again, we have the align button so we can align this in the center. And this is very cool as well. If we want to add a gradient to our text, we can do that. So what I'm going to do to actually show you this is just delete the highlights that I have on my text. So this is all blue. So the main color I am using is blue. And then I can go down to the gradient right here and I can set a second color that I want to add the gradient to. So we can see this is a red and blue gradient. We can then change the angle of this to change how this is going to look. We can also change the stop on either side. So I can make this more red if I want to, or I can also make this more blue. Finally, we can go down to outline. And this is where we can add like an outline or a stroke around the edge of the text. And sometimes this is going to make the text more visible. So we can set the color and then we can set the width as well right here. Once again, I'm going to go back and just unsave all of these changes because I quite like the more plain and boring, if you will, website design. Actually, what I'm going to do is just go back here and once again, add some highlight. We will add a splash of color to the website. And then for the highlight color, I'm going to set this to a beautiful yellow color right here. Perfect. In this section, we can then do the exact same thing. So we just enter text. We have all of the same commands and then we can also go over here and change the appearance in the same way. But I'm just going to go in here and write a short description about myself and my photography company in this example. One super important thing that I will mention here is sometimes letters, especially the letter I, because it's used sometimes in here. If I try to type I am, you can see that the I isn't going to show up because it basically registers the I as one of the commands right here. But at the bottom, it says use a backslash to prevent a character from being passed as a markdown. So if I actually want to show the I and this isn't part of these markdowns right here, all I have to do is add a backslash. And then as you can see, that is now going to show up. So I'm just going to say I am a photographer based in London, UK. Below is a collection of my best work. So now we can go down to the container. We can click into the container and we basically have two options here when it comes to containers. We can keep this as a default, which I prefer, or we can go to columns. And this is basically going to allow us to have two sides within that container. So for example, if I wanted to add an image right here, I could basically grab an image. Whoopsie, I just grabbed two there. Uh, let's delete one of these. And then I can drag this into this area. And then we can have like this column area that's going to show up along this section. I personally don't like this, just a personal preference. So what I do like to do is just set this to default. And then we can go to appearance. Once again, we can play around with the width and the height. But most importantly, if we go down here, we can set a background. So right now, this is set to a blank image, which is what gives it this cool effect. But what we can do is we could set this to color, for example, and we could choose this to be like a blue. We could also fade this down so that we have more of a transparent look to the website. We can also go to gradient right here, and then we can choose the gradients that we have, or we can select this to like an image or a video. But as this is a portfolio website and I want to be showing off my work, I'm actually going to add an image into here. So I'm just going to click on upload and then upload an image right here. Then we can just go ahead and resize this, click on accept, and that's going to be added into that. So with the text, I'm just going to click on this text and let's call this my portfolio. Then we can click on this text and I'm going to call this Yellowstone National Park, just like that. And then for this text at the bottom, I actually want to delete this. Then we can see it shows right here. Then for buttons, so buttons are super interesting. We can click in. We have the buttons tab on this left hand side and we can change the label. So I'm going to say uh, view, view here. Then we can choose an icon for the button. So we can see right now we have an arrow pointing right. And I think this fits, but we can look through to see if there's any others that we like. Maybe we want this one right here, but there is a lot of different icons that we can choose from. There's even branded icons. So we have like an, an Airbnb icon, an Apple podcast icon, an Apple icon, all of these different icons right here. And I'm just going to change it to this one. So as you can see, that is now going to change. Then we can change the color of this. So we can go in and change the button to like red. Uh, we can add a label here. We can add another icon. Then we can also change the hover color. So right now, if I hover over this, this is white. But let's say we want to change this to like a blue color. We can see that if we hover over this, this is now going to change to blue. Then we just have some more containers right here. I won't explain how to do these. We also have this icon section at the bottom. So we can click into icons 
and then we can change all of these different types. So you can choose from any websites. Something that we don't have here is Facebook. So what I could do is I could just scroll up until I find Facebook. So then I could select Facebook and then all I would have to do is go to the URL right here and paste in the URL for the Facebook page that I would like to take people to. Then once again, we can change the colors, we can change the background, we can go over here and play around with the appearance once again. But from the earlier sections of the video, you should already know how to do this. Aside from that, we've basically gone through most of these, like we've covered buttons. Another thing that I will cover is lists right here. So this is basically like text, but it shows up in a list format. So we could go back and it's going to show up as bullet points. We could type one thing in, then go down, then we have a second bullet point. And once again, we have all the formatting shown right here. If we want to add videos in, then we just add a video, then we can go to video. And then all you would have to do is paste the URL in right here. So as an example, I could just go to my YouTube channel, copy the link and then paste it in. And then my video is now going to show up. So whilst I am still in the editor, this isn't going to show as such. It's just going to show as this outline. But as I'll show you in a second, when we actually go to preview the final website, it's going to show up right here. So now that we have all of that, what we can now do is go up to save this. And we now need to create an account to actually put this live. So I'm just going to go through and fill out my information. Once that is added, we can then add a title for the website. So I'm just going to call it Riley's Portfolio. And then we can add a description as well. And then from here, we have the action, where do we want to publish this? So if you do want to add a custom domain, then you do need to upgrade to the paid plan on card, but you can publish to a card URL for completely free. So I'm just going to call this Riley Holden. And then my new URL is rileyholden.card.co. Then we can go to publish. And just like that, the site is now going to publish. It then asks me to check my email just to confirm that I am really a person. So I can go over here and verify my account. And just like that, this website is now published. So if I go over to view right here, this is how my website is actually going to look now it's online. And if I go down to the YouTube video that I installed, as you can see, now I am on the actual website. It's going to show up right here. And then I can click in and watch the video. So that is my card website tutorial. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.